welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to be showing you what the inside of a starter motor looks like now not long ago I actually showed you made a video on how to test a starter motor whereas some of you out there are probably wondering what it looks like actually in start inside of one of these as well so I'm just going to be I'm not going to be taking this off this is just to start a solenoid so I'm not going to be bothering that all that is is just a little piston inside what move backwards and forwards which is like on a kind of fork thing so when it's acti power is activated it just pushes it and then pushes it out to spin it that's all that does I'm just going to be actually showing you the inside of the starter motor itself so these nuts here are actually a six mil and there's two of them so I'm just going to be unloosening them and actually inside here you will actually have the brushes as well for your motor which you can actually change yourself if you feel comfortable doing that all you have to do is make sure you've got your, the number on your starter motor which it could be a Bosch or something like that which if you come here might be a bit hard for you to see but as you can see you'll see Bosch and then you'll have your part number if you put that part number in and then push put brushes the brushes for your starter will come up but make sure you double check and um, you can actually get them off ebay you'll probably get them off ebay or somewhere like that you can get them for like 15 pounds something like that sometimes this is just the brushes um you can tell it is the brushes when you actually get the brushes out which i'll be showing you in a minute and you can actually save a lot of money doing it that way as well so i'll just get me screwdriver which is a posse so i'll just be taking this off which is just two screws two flip screws So that's all them are and like I says the, the, the long ones what come out them actually go straight the way through which those are the bolts for them to that one and I'm nice and safe so you don't lose them and then once you pull that off that's what it looks like inside then you will actually have like it's like a C clip so all you have to do is just push that off and that comes off like that you will have a washer at the back that comes off as well now I'm going to be actually undoing this nut here as well which is a 13 so I'll just bear with me which is why I'll get the socket for that sorry my mistake it's a 10 here we go a 10 yeah here we go it's better than me okay, no. not, not a 10 either there you go you see this actually coming off now there you go that just stucks off again you'll have a washer what comes off with it you have to take this off so you can actually take the body of the actual starter motor off and then all you do is take your cap off the top and then 
this part here is actually your brushes for your motor that's what I was on about these actually go around your motor so what I'll do I'll actually get the end of that myself and pull it out and there you go that part just comes straight off I'll put that to one side for a sec and like I says these here are actually brushes so you can actually pull that out from the case as well like that there you go that's what the inside of that looks like if you are stripping it it's always worth cleaning as well out with some clutch and brake cleaner that's what I use get it all nice and clean you might as well like I says because you're stripping it this is the actual motor there's the gear now this is what I said extra explain it here about the brushes the brushes actually go onto that part there so if the brushes are low they'll stop touching that which stops your starter motor from spinning around to actually get these off if you use a say a big enough socket you can put a socket on there and you can actually lift the brush motor off as well but when you do get a new set of brushes you'll actually get one of these it's like a round plastic black circle thing what actually comes with it so you can just pull it over like that get your brushes and slide it straight on and that'll be your brushes changed and all you have to do if this is i'll actually show you this compartment as well why are you you can actually take this clip off here as well that just pulls off like that that's what that looks like and you'll actually have the gears inside as well always make sure you put a, a small amount of grease on them it don't have to be a lot just a small amount of grease that's all you need on them and all you have to do is just put your cap back on push it back on like that you'll actually have it clip like I says if you are cleaning it up make sure you get in these grooves as well so it's all nice and clean and you can't really go wrong when you're pulling it back together really because you know you've got that part there which goes on to this part here so as you pull it in you will actually feel this suck so there you go just like that and then you just push that rubber part back on like that old valand get that part and that part goes on that part there so you'll see it sliding like that just clip straight on put your wire on you'll see when it clips together because you'll see it there as you can see look just push down like that so it goes together like that and then all you have to do is get your cap like that you know where that one goes as well that part there because it actually lines up with that part there so you'll just slip that on like that get your c-clip can't actually grip it <laughs> get your c-clip that just clips onto the groove there which I'll show you now you'll have like a groove and it just pushes onto the groove like that plastic rubber one that goes round there like that and then all you have to do is get your big bolts just got to try and hold it down at the same time as I do this like that there you go get your big bolts your big bolt to slide through just get on to start at first 
lining it up is actually important as well and make sure you line them up as I'm trying to do here like that you get the gist of it and then all you have to do is get your cap put your cap back on like that and put your two screws in and that's all it is to changing your brushes in your starter motor I hope this helped someone out there as it can save you quite a bit of money on doing it yourself if you feel confident enough if you don't you can always take it to a starter or alternator place and they can refurbish, it, refurbish the brushes in the alternator for you and in the starter um, thank you for all the new subscribers I, I do appreciate it there is some more videos coming up on uh, I think it's a few cars some on some vans and then we're going to be moving on to the Ford Fiesta project as well um, I'm going to go now and stop waffling on um, like I said I hope this helped someone out out there if it did please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for future videos and until next time I'll catch you in another one